walk by faith, not by sight. The Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 6 to 7, pleads with us to be filled with good courage and confident hope as we fix our eyes in the glorious future with God in His presence. For we walk by faith, not by sight, living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. But how do we do this? How to walk by faith and not by sight? Theologian Albert Barnes, in his notes on the Bible, commanded to walk in the scripture often denotes to live, to act, to conduct in a certain way. It has a reference to the fact that life is a journey, it's a pilgrimage, and the Christian is traveling to another country. This sense here is that we conduct ourselves in a course of life with reference to the things that are not seen and not with a reference to the things that we see. Paul reminds us to live our lives with eternal significance, to conduct our lives with intentionality to bring praise and glory to God. Faith assures us of things we accept and convince us of the existence of the things that we cannot see. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it makes us to put our full trust and confidence in God. It moves our fear, it moves us to fear from God, to obey Him, and to hope in Him in all circumstances. We may go through life of hardship and find ourselves out of our comfort zone. Still, we must put our complete faith in God, even we don't see or feel Him working. For while the word says to see is to believe, but the heart of faith says we believe and you will see. The author and pastor Mark Dever said, We do live best in this world when we keep next in mind. We, com we complete confidence in God and His promises. Let us walk by faith and not by sight. Let us do so by His grace and for His glory.